Hey guys, it's me Curtis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today I have almost a part two to a video that I have done before here on my channel, and I'm going to be giving you guys a few treats that I highly recommend for any mouse owner out there. Like I said, I did make a type of video like this before on my channel, so if you'd like to check that out before or after today's video, I will leave it right here up in an iCard for you guys to do so. As you guys can see, here on my shoulder, I also have two of my mice, Lily and Clover. And this is a little bit of a bittersweet moment for me because Clover actually is the same exact kind of mouse um, color pattern as the mouse that was actually in my last or first part um, of this video, which was my mouse Willow. They are both champagne, I'm almost positive, mice. But yeah, now I have Clover, so it's kind of funny because they're like, they look the same, but they're actually different mice. I really wanted to make a part two to this video because as I have gotten new mice recently, I've realized um, once again how important food is when it comes to taming new mice and getting them to trust you. So I hope this list helps any of you guys out there who are struggling to tame your mice. Hopefully one of these treats will be something that they enjoy. And one last thing right before we get on into today's video, if you would like to check out any of my other mouse related videos, such as cage tours, other care videos, food, diet, and all that kind of stuff, I have a whole playlist which I will leave linked up there in an iCard for you guys to check out as well. guys the mice are almost done already for this video because as you guys can see clover has like poop smeared on her back and it's on my thumb too and so um yeah they're gonna be put to the side for now all right guys so the first treat that's gonna be on this list is either puffed rice or puffed oats depending on where you live um i believe for me it's called puffed rice and now this is a cereal you can find this at the grocery store i don't even know if they sell this in pet stores but it is a food or cereal specifically made for humans mice really actually do love it and it's a very lightweight snack i would not feed too many because obviously it is a carb and everything so you don't want them to just get bloated off of those but you can definitely offer these um a little bit more than more things with but you can offer these more than things such as like sweets and store-bought treats because they do have like no sugar in them and that's the other thing make sure you guys get the treats that have or the cereals I should say without added flavors and you can usually get a pretty big bag for cheap I bought my bag like months ago and I still have half of it and this is including me adding it into their diet so you guys can find a really cheap brand of this even the store brand and just get a few mice they will love it Alright guys, so of course Clover decided to run on her wheel as soon as I'm trying to film, but you guys can see I do have my mouse here, she's actually eating a puffed oat, they really love these things, there's no way you ate that that quick, and apparently they eat them quick. But the next thing I have on this list is just plain old fashioned oats. Now I know like beginner mouse owners can be skeptical about feeding a lot of like human made foods to mice but um, everything on this list is obviously safe for them and again you guys can find this in your local grocery store, I'm almost sure pet stores just don't sell cans of oats or buckets of oats for small animals. You can find a big thing of this for pretty cheap. Once again, just make sure that these do not have any added flavors or things in them, such as like blueberries and sugars and all that stuff. If it's just like regular plain fruit, that's fine, but usually they have like added sugar and stuff. So literally just get plain old fashioned oats and they will love those as well. The next thing on my list is mealworms. So this is something that again, not a lot of people think to feed their mice because they're not a reptile, but mice love mealworms. It's especially beneficial for younger and growing mice because the um, additional protein is good for them to grow and obviously become a healthy mouse. So I typically don't buy um, just live mealworms that often because my mice are one of the only animals that I have that can actually eat them. A lot of reptiles uh, actually can't eat mealworms or at least it's not really good for them. So I usually just feed them like dried uh, mealworms and those are just as good, especially if you are not someone who likes to deal with live bugs, of course. The next treat on this list is also not a food made for mice. I actually didn't realize that a lot of these foods were not made for mice, but that is veggie noodles. So it's interesting to me to find out that veggie noodles are actually not uh, sold everywhere, even in the United States, because when I posted about one of my mice eating them, they were like wondering why one of the noodles was green. I do sell them on my shop as of now, and I actually have to ship some out right after this video. Also, usually not that expensive, and it's just another item to add to your mouse treat collection. Mice typically love these, at least in my experience, and I'd love to know if you guys have ever tried these with your mice before down below. Okay, as I'm going off of my list now to find the fifth thing, I've realized that nothing on this list confirmed is actually made for mice, but the fifth thing here um, that I have to talk to you guys about is popcorn. So I actually have an older video with a whole different kind of herd of mice 
uh, where I fed them popcorn. I don't remember how good it is, but I will leave it linked up here in the iCard for you guys to check out. But mice love popcorn, not like instant microwave popcorn usually because those have like a ton of different like salts and flavors and butter and all that kind of stuff added to them. But if you find one that is microwavable and it's literally just plain grown popcorn, that's also great. The one specifically that I recommend is just going to a market or somewhere where they sell like more like natural things, I guess you can say, and getting a bag of just the corn kernels because then you know they're actually fresh, there's nothing added to them. Then you can put them inside of a frying pan with a lid on a low heat and then over time they will start to pop if you didn't already know that. And when they start to pop, you can either start taking them out, which is kind of annoying because then they're going to keep popping as you're trying to do that. But just make sure you keep the skillet moving because they will burn once they pop if they're just sitting there while you're waiting for the rest to pop as well. But popcorn is definitely one of those things that, again, my mice really, really love. Um, and I'd love to know if you guys have tried popcorn with your mice before. Again, make sure there's no butter or anything in them and they are perfectly safe. I wouldn't recommend giving them all the time as well. But for a treat, every here and there, they are a great option. Alright guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys learned maybe a couple new treats that you can feed to your mice. Let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these with your mice, if you found any of these to be surprising, like to be on this list or anything like that. Because like I said, a lot of people don't offer their mice human food because they think it's dangerous, but mice can actually eat a lot of things. So I want to make this list for you guys because there are actually a lot of things made for us that they love as well. If you guys would like to continue to follow me on this journey with all of my pets, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which is just at Curtis Lesane, just like my channel name, and you can also subscribe to my channel in order to see all of my future content as well. I also own my own Etsy pet shop where I sell lots of different pet supplies for all different types of animals. I have a lot of small animal items coming out as well actually, including those veggie noodles which are already on my shop. That's all I have for today's video guys, don't forget to check out my other mouse videos and I hope to see you guys all in the next one.